I'm Stevie and I work at Salon 124 in Swanee. With Michelle's hair, it's very fine and she has a quite a cowlick underneath at her nape. So what we like to do is actually just do an undercut um, and that way we can manage the cowlick. And then from there, we do a stacked angled bob with a little bit of texturing for movement. So today we are doing a bleach and tone, and once that's done, we're gonna we're gonna be doing a fashion color on the under levels of her hair, so it's gonna peek through the blonde. So I do a lot of fashion colors in the salon. Um, I really enjoy them because it's a lot of freehand artwork I'd call it. It's a lot of freehand creativity. My clients that get fashion colors are a lot of times a lot of fun and open to ideas so their hair becomes a canvas where I can really you know put my ideas to work um, and it's it's always something different. It's never the the same head of hair over and over again. Every fashion color is completely different. Especially when I'm working with blondes, I always like to take the fading into consideration so I know that if I use purples and pinks as it fades in her hair, as fashion colors do over time, like the purples will fade out to a nice silver, the pinks will fade out into a manageable color. It'll still be pretty as it fades, so it'll go from very vibrant pink, vibrant purple, and it'll fade out to like a blush pink a silvery purple, and that way when she wants to transition back to blonde, it'll be a lot easier to do that. So sometimes with fashion colors, I'll have people try maybe like a clip-in of fashion colors to see if they like it in their hair. Um, but I will say doing vivids or fashion colors is really kind of a lifestyle with your hair. So it requires regular maintenance. So my clients come to see me every four to five weeks for touch-ups. Um, it's super important to shampoo as infrequently as possible. I always suggest co-washing, meaning scrub your head with water, use conditioner, um, avoid shampoo when possible, and sub in dry shampoo when you can. Rinsing and shampooing with ice cold or as cold as you can tolerate will keep the color from running. So that's crucial in keeping your color vivid. Um, you also have to be careful with hot tools because heat can make the color fade faster. So you just really have to be cognizant about the temperature of your water, the temperature of your hot tools, and really just make sure you take good care of your hair.